what is good it is your boy Pablo Gray and we are back with another reaction video um today we got a clip another clip from Bloomberg quick take news the title of it is CDC director <clears throat> US is about to enter most difficult time in public health history so before we get into it let me just explain what I believe this man is about to fucking say um if I had to guess it's gonna say some shit like we're about to go through some shit because it's going to be uh flu season but he might not even call it flu season he's just gonna say this is gonna be the time where we predict corona to have its biggest spike because this is when it's flu season this is when people have colds and you know what the narrative out there is that this shit probably really isn't coronavirus they're just classifying flu pneumonia and other upper upper respiratory diseases as coronavirus so yeah I, I think that's where he's about to go with this shit but let's find out but before we do you like what i'm doing here like comment subscribe and share i really do appreciate it thank you for helping me beat the algorithm let's do it but the reality is december and january and february are going to be rough times i actually believe they're going to be the most difficult time in the public health history of this nation let me tell you why it's going to be difficult because y'all going to be trying to mandatory vaccine niggas and niggas ain't going to be with the shits i'm not going to be with the shits demand that shit this way let a motherfucker knock on my door yeah i uphold my second amendment right let it be dope we sit we here too. today 90 percent of our hospitals in this nation are actually in what we call one of the hot zones in the red zone uh, therefore at risk for increased hospitalization and potential to negatively impact hospital capacity uh, 90 percent of all of our long-term care facilities now are in what we call high transmission zones so we are at a very critical time right now about being able to maintain the resilience. Listen, I'm not going to speak on no shit I don't know. So if anyone watching this knows what he's talking about, anyone in the health field, in the hospitals, doctor's offices, these long-term care facilities, let me know in the comment section. Is the shit really filled like that? Are y'all really in the red zone? Is it really like fucking crazy? Is this COVID shit really running rampant? Please let me know in the comment section. I really will appreciate that. That way, I'm not just talking on my ass and sounding like a motherfucking conspiracy theorist. Because I be trying to figure this shit out too. I ain't got all the answers. And I'm not about to sit up here and assume no shit. I will assume shit based off of evidence, but I won't speak on shit I don't know. So, please in the comment section, let me know. Of our healthcare system. Really? Listen, Bloomberg, y'all gotta stop this shit. Y'all, y'all really ended the fucking video 48 seconds into it, and it's supposed to be a minute and 12 seconds long. That's some bullshit. But thanks for the video, I guess. Fuck Bloomberg, but. What I got to say on this shit, fuck everybody in the CDC. Y'all really on some bullshit and y'all keeping your mouth closed. I'm not saying everybody on it, but as far as you being a part of an organization, knowing that people inside that organization is doing some dirt and you keeping your mouth closed, you just as bad as they are. So shame on you too. Shame on you too. Um, yeah, they, they gonna have these vaccines out. They gonna be telling niggas first. They gonna have people who who are really desperate to get them. They gonna be the first people to get in there, right? The people who want to get them. And then after a while, it's gonna be a, be a lot of people who didn't get them, and they gotta figure out how the fuck we gonna get these people to get some vaccines. Let's make it mandatory. And how we gonna do it is, oh, if you want to keep certain benefits, whether that's welfare. Uh, housing assistance, whatever the fuck it is, you gotta you gotta get your shit vaccinated. Um, if you wanna be able to stay at a certain, I don't know, if you wanna be able to work here, you gotta be vaccinated. They gonna be getting niggas like that. So I encourage you to do for yourself. So when shit happens like this, they not holding you hostage because they got some shit you need. Whether that be 
work because you need to provide for yourself and a roof over your head and shit like that. Do for yourself so you can provide for yourself so can't nobody hold no resources against you in the time where you really need your freedom. But, um, yeah, man, that's really all I got to say on that, man. You like what I'm doing here. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for purchasing merch. If you still want to go purchase merch, link is in the description. Um, also, thank you for streaming 1130. If you like, like my music, man, hit the thumbs up. Shit, go stream that shit too. Appreciate it. Pop blow out.